Josh is going to show us his variation of a one-arm dip. This is actually really cool. So Go ahead. Pull down machine. We're going to reverse it to do a very similar movement where Dave added the, the weight. I'm going to do actually 240 pounds for one arm right here. Mm. And um, get that isolation on each side of indiv individually so you don't get your stronger arm outweighing the strength on the other arm. So here we go. That's awesome. You know that funny shoulder you get when you're repping out and you're tired? He's saying that this will help strengthen it. What is this, a push down machine? Hold yeah. on. This is a lat row machine. Come on. That's awesome. Variation, one arm dip. Let's try some. Makes the tricep look cool too. Come on. All right. Switch to the other side. Show me. I just love the other side. Yeah. We just talked about not training the other side. Okay. Look where his leverage is. Notice his back. See how he's not using his core? He could use his core. This is a chest exercise. So he's literally keeping a straight line here. He's moving about an inch and a half here, which is perfectly fine. That's the range of motion. And he's, he's got a sticking spot here. That's where he has to push down. That's where everything engages and shoves to the ground. Notice his speed too. Anybody can do that. Anybody can push down, hold, Come back to the top, hold, push down and hold. Those are all cheating. Going through a solid movement for the entire number of reps required, that's painful. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, I wanna try this for fun. So, tell me if I'm doing it right. I grab right here. I'm going to grab outside, on the inside. There you go. So, I'm going to walk up to the machine. I'm going to put my hand right here. I'm going to help myself down with the weight. And I'm going to hold it there. I'm going to put my bottom hand down. One to get in a position. It's right about there. Two shoving down. So it is. Yeah, really important on this one as well. Dave, is be like natural for him because he's done dips for his tricep and dips for his chest as well. <sighs> find the area that's actually isolating your chest. He's <sighs> your chest pretty much right now. It's very easy to just isolate your triceps and your tricep. <sighs> but as he leans forward, he's isolating your <sighs> tricep and getting that, that real sharp cut <sighs> that you get right here. <sighs> your uh, serratus and abdominals meet your chest. <sighs> the dips are amazing. <sighs> 10, that's great. That's awesome. Once again, pulling down with the front arm, pushing with the other arm. Okay, find my happy spot. And you worded that very well. In any position, height can become an issue, size, mass, and then obviously the muscle group. Secondary muscles want to kick in at all times. So as he mentioned, find that spot. It could be over here for me. It could be right here. It could be just leaning back, but always being aware they call it the mind-muscle connection. Or just freaking making the muscle group intent of doing the work. And the longer you train as well, um, you kind of get that, I call it a sixth sense. <sighs> when you're doing the exercise, you kind of find that sweet spot. Now, when you're doing the pull-up, <sighs> dropping the dip, oh, that's you great. really feel that isolation stretch. Right? It comes along as you 